ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ గవర్నర్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ జిష్ణుదేవ్ వర్మ గారికి మనమంతా చప్పట్లతో స్వాగతం పొందుదాం ఐ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ గవర్నర్ చీఫ్ గెస్ట్ who has come to bless the children saksham samrakshan kshamata mahotsav 2025 ki mukhya atithi ga vee chesina gavarni governor gari ki jishnu dev varma gari hudai puraka swagatam alage senior ias adhikari mana principal secretary sri danikeshwar gari ki swagatam and b anil kumar gari executive director iocl peesh mittal gari executive director iocl benny thomas gari చీఫ్ జనరల్ మేనేజర్ రిటైల్ హెచ్పిసిఎల్ నితిన్ సోలుకర్ గారు జనరల్ మేనేజర్ రిటైల్ అండ్ స్టేట్ హెడ్ బిపిసిఎల్ దేవకాంత్ సిన్హా గారు జోన్ చీఫ్ జనరల్ మేనేజర్ గ్యాస్ అథారిటీ ఇండియా లిమిటెడ్ తెలుగు యూనివర్సిటీ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ ప్రొఫెసర్ వి నిత్యానంద్ రావు గారు స్టేట్ లెవెల్ కోఆర్డినేటర్ ఆయిల్ ఇండస్ట్రీ తెలంగాణ యతేంద్ర పాల్ సింగ్ గారు అందరికీ స్వాగతం పలుకుతుంది వేదిక దీస్ ఆర్ ది డేస్ ఆఫ్ సోషల్ మీడియా మామూలుగా మేనేజర్ సోషల్ ఎనిమల్ అంటారు కానీ ఇప్పుడు సోషల్ మీడియా ఎనిమల్గా మారిపోయాం అందరం సో సోషల్ మీడియాలో ఎంత ప్రజల్లోకి వెళ్ళటానికి ఒక అందరికీ ఎవ్రీ ఇండివిజువల్ హ్యాస్ బికమ్ ఏ బ్రాడ్కాస్టర్ పాడ్కాస్టర్ ఆర్టిస్ట్ ప్రొడ్యూసర్ డైరెక్టర్ వాట్ ఎవర్ సో అట్లా దాదాపు వన్ క్రోర్ ఆడియన్స్ని సాధించిన యువ మిత్రుడు మిస్టర్ అనిల్ ఈజ్ విత్ని ఆయన మీతో ముందుగా మాట్లాడతారు సక్షం కూర్చి ఒక రెండు నిమిషాలు మాట్లాడతారు తర్వాత వీ హ్యావ్ మ్యాజిక్ ఎందుకంటే అండ్ అదే విల్ బి వెల్కమింగ్ మన అనిల్ గారు అనిల్ నాయుడు గారు ప్లీజ్ thank you dakshinamurthy sir before i start to all the dignitaries sitting on the auditorium andar pramukhulaku andariki na shubhabhi vandanalu before i start i wish to say happy morning to each one of you instead of good morning endukante na oka 20 samacharala ee experience lo naaku naaku life nerpichindi entante ఒక స్టేజ్ వచ్చిన తర్వాత మనీ పవర్ ఫేమ్ పొజిషన్ కంటే మెంటల్ పీస్ అన్నిటికంటే ఎక్కువ ప్రయారిటీగా తీసుకుంటాం మన జనరల్గా ఎవరికైనా పుట్టినరోజు రోజు హ్యాపీ బర్త్డే అంటాం హ్యాపీ మదర్స్ డే అంటాం హ్యాపీ ఫాదర్స్ డే అంటాం హ్యాపీ వ్యాలంటైన్ డే అంటాం బ్రిటిషర్స్ ఇచ్చిన ఆ యొక్క ఇన్హెరిటెడ్ యూసేజ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ అనుకుండా ఐ వాంటెడ్ టు సే హ్యాపీ మార్నింగ్ టు ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవరి వన్ అవుట్ దేర్ అందరు స్టూడెంట్స్ ప్లీజ్ సే హాయ్ టు మీ రైట్ very very hi to all the students out there saksham 2025 lo baganga nenu naaku konta time ichinanduku andarki thanks to all those who do not know me nenu oka lekkala master ni i did my engineering from usmana university then i quit my job in infosys i asked myself this question am i into systems or i am i with human beings then i wrote multiple books on mathematics i help students in competitive exams nen probably life lo na guru na cheppin enante worst thing in life is giving advice or suggestions to any i am too young to say this but what has worked for me probably few things which i'll say it i hope it will inspire some of the young students sitting out here endukante i am one of those students who was never appreciated in the class regularly irregular to schools and in colleges somebody who is neither a first row person nor nor an mbbs candidate members of backbench society somewhere in the middle absolutely somebody where parents were never proud in school days there were about 5 to 6 epiphany moments in my life that has helped me probably ikkada kuchun andar school students ki the help avachu and probably seniors can correlate with me in my journey i am 43 right now and i run my own competitive exam thing na life lo na first epiphany moment ikkada chaala mandi students ni chustane unte during my 7th class unfortunately in my home there is a big problem my elder brother studies very well because my elder brother studies very well for me it's always a matter of competition nen eppudu anta goppa ga chadukune vanni gaadu and i still remember my father's friend giving me a wonderful line to think a line entered i will try, tell it in telugu also anil do you wish to be a 12 year old who is just like any other 12 year old or do you wish to be a 12 year old who is looked upon by another 12 year old and I, it took me so many years for me to understand the unspoken meaning of that line i was always good in sports 
and that line made me think a lot of things and the second line which probably i did it when i did my engineering in usman university it came from a professor and it really changed the way i look at my professional life in engineering i poi almost careless ga oka herd mentality to let up do my professor told me the second line success does not necessarily come from talent it came from interest and those who are interested in something over a period of time they will create a breakthrough in the society and we can see a lot of stories i'm sure most of the students know it we come from the generation of sachin tendulkar's inspirational right now you are see virat kohli inspirational nen aa stage lo unne tappudu naku inka gurtundi i used to admire sachin tendulkar a lot why because in his 20 plus years of cricketing experience he is led to the net practice only 3 times by maximum 8 minutes and i really respect bell gates because he always plays chess with the world's number one chess player every time he loses i generally ask him every time you are losing the match he said no 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 initially i lost it by 2 minutes then i lost it by 8 minutes now i am making the competitor to think over every time the time span between me and my world number chess one player is increasing success talent toti raadu ani namme yuvakullo nen okkanni success interest toti definite ga vastundi i will tell one thing which virat kohli said it an interview ndtv interview somebody asked virat kohli what is the secret of your success he said my father if my father would not have believed that after sachin tendulkar it is my son i would never have got into cricket i thought of getting into a regular education and virat kohli wala nana chanipoyinappudu tana kanti nunchi neellu raaledu chaala mandi adigaru mee tandri chanipoyadu anante virat kohli annadu oka maata wala relatives toti chaala goppa maata i am a person who my believe i learn a lot from the people around from the books around he said it to his relatives my father always used to say when we are spending time together if it death be the gift god gives it to me while making my son drum dreams come true why will i say no to it nenu na kodukuniki tanaku ishtamaina field lo passionate cheyadaniki devudu naaku chaavu ane oka gift nichina kuda nen accept cheskuntanani and i always to all the young students out here i think probably days ahead meer enkal choorukunte nenu ee madhya oka ee naadu paper lo oka goppa article chadivanu chaala dirty colony lo insects anni kuda tirugutunnayi 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 and insects a comfort zone lo tirugutundi dantlo oka insect koncham paikel damu ani cheppi paikel nindi paikel nin tarvata it has gone through a very painful metamorphosis and over a period of time wings came and it started flying like a dragon fly dragon fly kellin tarvata ala ala elutu goppaga ta inko prapanchanni chuse tappudu thana kanipichindi are nen tiligi inka ee dirty colony lo unna insects ki cheppali bayita oka prapancham undi ani cheppi tirigi raabuddu avutundi kaani raalekapothundi this is what i call it as transformation agnes who was a timid introvert shy teacher who always probably did not get the great ratings from the headmaster we most likely have forgotten the name agnes but we remember her as mother teresa mohandas becoming mahatma gandhi narendra becoming swami vivekananda to all the students out there i wish to see a glorious future of you on this occasion to all the dignitaries out there giving time right for me to address the students is a great opportunity i wanted to bow down my head and say my thanks to all the dignitaries out there thanks a lot i wish each and every one more and most be happily successful playfully prosperous and a great year ahead with love anil nayar thank you he is a distinguished politician from tripura and served as the deputy chief minister of the state of tripura he was prominent member of the northeastern council advisory committee from 1989 to 1993 Sri Jishudev Verma Garu played a pivotal role in shaping policies for the northeastern region. He also served as the convener of the Indian National Trust for Art and Cultural Heritage, INTAC, Tripura chapter and coordinated initiatives for the 
trust in the north east honorable governor then embarked on his uh, political journey with the bharatiya janata party in 1993 and was elected as a national council member representing tripura he held the position of general secretary and many organizational top positions in 2018 sir contested as a state assembly election from 19 Charilong ST constituency where he garnered unprecedented victory securing 90% of the total votes cast ante prajallo varukunde praja adharanaki adoka udaharana 90% votlu raavatam ante a multi faceted artist his creative spirit finds expression in modern art paintings and sculptures such works infused with vibrant themes grace various tourist spots temples public spaces often in collaboration with sanskar bharati a poet and a writer of considerable repute sri jishudeo verma sir's poetry in bengal and english has touched the hearts of many his works notably featured in his books children of water goddess and master of time are celebrated for their evocative and lyrical quality sir possesses a deep and passionate commitment to tribal development environmental and ecological balance education health art and culture he enjoys engaging with people from all walks of life always making time to connect with the common man in his own words his philosophy of life is an opportunity to offer a healing touch to those living on the margins hello ప్రజల హృదయాలకు దగ్గరైన ఒక పెద్దలు మన రాష్ట్రానికి గవర్నర్గా ఉందో మన అదృష్టం తెలియజేస్తూ గౌరవనీయులైన ముఖ్య అతిథి గవర్నర్ గారి సందేశం నమస్కార్ ఆన్ ద గాయర్ శ్రీ ధనా కిషోర్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ సెక్రటరీ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ శ్రీ అనిల్ కుమార్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ డైరెక్టర్ అండ్ స్టేట్ హెడ్ తెలంగాణ అండ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఐఓసిఎల్ పీయూష్ మిత్తల్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ డైరెక్టర్ తెలంగాణ ఏపీ ఐఓసిఎల్ శ్రీ బెనిసీ థామస్ సిజిఎం రిటైల్ అండ్ హెల్త్ జోన్ హెచ్పిసిఎల్ శ్రీ నితిన్ సెలుకర్ రిటైల్ అండ్ స్టేట్ హెడ్ తెలంగాణ అండ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ శ్రీ దేవ్ దేవ్కాంత్ సిన్హా గోల్డ్ మేనేజర్ గేల్ శ్రీ ప్రొఫెసర్ నిత్యానంద రావు వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ ఆఫ్ పిఎస్టీ సి జతేంద్ర పాల్ సింగ్ స్టేట్ లెవెల్ కోఆర్డినేటర్ ఫర్ ఆల్ ఇండస్ట్రీ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ మై డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వేరియస్ స్కూల్స్ ఇండస్ట్రీ మెంబర్స్ ఇన్వైరన్మెంటలిస్ట్ లేడీ అండ్ జెంటల్మెన్ ఐఎమ్ హ్యాపీ టు అడ్రెస్ యూ ఆల్ అట్ ది ఇన్వాల్వ్ ఫంక్షన్ ఆఫ్ సక్సమ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ అండ్ ఇనిషియేటివ్ డెడికేటెడ్ టు సస్టైనబుల్ ఎనర్జీ అండ్ ఇన్వైరన్మెంటల్ కన్జర్వేషన్ This year's theme, Clean Air Environment, to clean and green energy, highlights our shared responsibility to protect our planet and build a healthier future for generations to come. Telangana has always been at the forefront of progress, blending tradition with innovation. As we move forward, embracing sustainability is not just a choice, but a necessity. The rapid growth of industry and urbanization has increased our energy demand. However, it is our duty to meet this demand responsibly, ensuring minimal environmental impact. Climate change is a global challenge. Rising temperatures, erratic rainfall, environmental degradation remind us of the urgent need to shift from fossil fuels to renewable energy. Telangana has already taken significant steps in this direction. investing in solar and wind power electric mobility and energy efficiency program <coughs> however we must continue this journey with greater commitment the government government of telangana is active, actively promoting solar energy bioenergy and eco friendly transportation green building energy conservation and waste to energy solution are at our core of our vision for a sustainable future The Raj Bhavan has instituted the Governor's Award for Excellence 2024 to honor the and celebrate exceptional individuals 
and organizations that have been remarkable contributions to environmental protection. Sri Dusarla Satyanarayana has been recognized in the environmental protection individual category for his extraordinary efforts in transforming his ancestral 70 acre land into a thriving man made forest, a sanctuary that harmoniously blends ecological conservation with spiritual serenity. In the organization category, Ruban's organization has been commended for outstanding work in environmental preservation and lake revitalization across Telangana. Through innovative, cost effective, and sustainable methods, the organization has played a pivotal role in restoring water bodies and safeguarding ecosystems. The award for Bhavan is a small step that goes to encourage energy conservation and our effort for, for clean energy. Public participation is essential. Simple actions like using energy efficient appliances, adopting rooftop solar panels and switching, on, switching to electric vehicles can create a significant impact. Simultaneously, the government India is adopting a 360 degree approach to reduce dependence on crude oil imports. Various initiatives, conversion to CNG and EVs, improving transport infrastructure, expanding solar and wind power, and exploring new generation fuels like hydrogen and CVG are being implemented. India's energy needs will continue to grow. To ensure a clean future, we must scale our efforts conserving fossil fuels, transitioning to alternative energy and promoting greener fuels. While the government plays a key role in industry, in educational institutions and civil society must also step forward. Innovation, investment and awareness are the keys to achieving this transition. Corporate organizations should lead by example, adopting green energy solutions and reducing, and reducing their carbon footprint. Schools and colleges must educate the youth about clean energy as they will be the torch bearers of tomorrow. I appreciate 